Greetings and welcome to A Prayer for Pause. My name is Nancy Woodworth Hill. Amongst other things, I am a spiritual director. I'd like to thank you for supporting our ministry. And um, if you found this video on YouTube, I ask you to consider subscribing to Lawrence Field Church's um, YouTube site or on Facebook, consider liking and sharing this. Our prayerful pause today is on guard the lips or the practice of right speech. Have you ever said something that you wish you hadn't and realized that you can't take the words back and how hurtful it might have been? So I have a story to share. Long time ago, in a small village, a man was maligning the rabbi. Over and over, he spoke against him. And then one day he realized he had been wrong. So he went to the rabbi and asked for his forgiveness. And the rabbi said, what I'd like you to do is go home, get your feather pillow, open it up, and scatter the feathers to the four corners, into the wind, open it up. So the man did so. Then he returned to the rabbi and said, am I forgiven? And the rabbi said, not yet. You need to go get the feathers. The man was, as you can well imagine, astonished. The rabbi continued, it is as impossible for you to go get the feathers as it is for you to unspeak those words. Wrong speech hurts. It impacts the speaker. It impacts those who hear the speaker. And it impacts the person who is spoken about. Because words are, in some ways, a thermometer of our hearts. How we speak matters. Words also have the capacity to be dangerous in ways. I think of the World War II slogan, loose lips sink ships. And also of the children saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. In fact, they do deeply. They can send a person's life into a tailspin in a way. We never know the full impact of negative things that we say. And words can be infectious. They can sow doubt and mistrust. So here's the practice. As always, be aware of God's presence. And when you're listening and in conversation, I invite you to listen, to listen, and to form a reply later. It is our nature, I believe, as humans to try to form our response, what we're going to say next while we're listening. I invite you to be present to your listening. You can form a response later. And then when you do take the time to respond rather than reacting, ask yourself, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? And these words form the word think. True, T, H, helpful, I, inspiring, N, necessary, K, kind. And it's only after you've done that, make the choice on what to say or what to repeat. A practice of right speech is a deep spiritual practice. I invite you to pay attend to the times when that is necessary. Go in peace.